Hey guys, I'm Rob and welcome back to Rob's Model Cars. Well, I'm back with another model review today and it is actually a model that I have already reviewed in the not too dissident past. And what I'm talking about is the BBR Ferrari J50. Now, this is the J50 here. Um, it's in pride of place eye height that I can drool over all the time. And I really love this model by BBR. Now, this was the uh, J50 red release or the press color for this J50. And I feel that the Ferrari J50 is somewhat underrated or not as appreciated as other uh, high-end Ferraris. Now, the J50 was to commemorate 50 years of Ferrari in Japan, uh, and they only made 10 of these J50s. So um, in the world of real Ferraris, this is an extremely rare Ferrari with only 10 units. Now, as much as I love this red version, the model I'm about to show you is in a color when I saw it. Uh, it's one of my favorite Ferrari colors, so I will be replacing this red J50 with this new model that I'm going to show you now. Now, I am going to sell this red J50 on. It will be on my eBay store, um, but if anyone wants to uh, buy it, just send me a message. I do sell my models outside of eBay as well uh, for slightly cheaper as I don't have to pay the fees. Um, but let's have a look at what is replacing the red J50 in my collection. Now we have reviewed a ton of BBR models, obviously. My cases are full of them. Um, they just come in these plain red boxes with a lift off lid. Now this model was optioned uh, with a plexiglass display case, but this one also comes on a carbon fiber base as well, which makes it look even more tasty. Now all BBR models do come with a certificate of authenticity. Uh, and the plexiglass display cases are protected by a cloth. And if we open it up, here is the stunning Ferrari J50 in Giallo Tristrato, or Giallo Tristrato, however you want to pronounce that. Um, and this one does come on the carbon fiber base as well. Now, this is by far my favorite yellow Ferrari color. Um, Giallo Moderna is nice, or Giallo Moderna, um, but Giallo Tristrato is just, I love it. I love painting models in this color. Um, it's just an awesome pearl yellow color. So this is a replica of the real yellow version in Japan. Uh, the only inaccuracy I can see on this model, the real yellow version in Japan actually has yellow brake calipers on it, whereas this one has black brake calipers. So uh, that may be a little mod that I might do. I might take the wheels off this model, repaint the brake calipers and put the wheels back on, um, but we'll just see. But this, to me, this is absolutely stunning, this J50 in this color. So what we'll do, we'll get it out of the case, we'll put it on the turntable and we'll have a closer look at this BBR Ferrari J50. Okay, so check out this color, this Giallo Tristrato, absolutely stunning paint color for Ferraris. And if I could afford a real one, I would get it in this color. It's absolutely stunning. And the application of this paint uh, is absolutely flawless by BBR, uh, really, really high quality and a nice gloss finish on all the carbon fiber decal as well. But let's start with the base on this model. So. These are the newer generation limited edition bases by BBR, and they are real carbon fiber. You do have a little photo etched BBR models logo here. Of course, you get the uh, laser cut emblem here, which says J50. You've got the Ferrari emblem on the back here. And then as with all BBR models, you have the limited edition number plate on the back here as well. Now this is limited to only 24 pieces in this, uh, in this series, and I have number 24. Now you can remove these models from the base. You just find with your finger where the screw indentation hole is, and then you can just cut that with a bit of felt and unscrew it. Um, but these are so expensive, these models, that I like to keep them on the base and keep them pristine. Now the model, absolutely stunning in my mind. I love my red version, but I love this yellow one even more. Uh, it just sparkles and 
it really brings out the color underneath these LED lights also, as you will agree. Now let's start with the details on the model. And one thing I love about the J50 is it has this massive big air intake right through the front. And you can see this is all in photo etch mesh. And you can see some of the uh, chassis components in behind the mesh, which is absolutely awesome on this model. Has a real high quality uh, 3D Ferrari badge on the front of the car. Really, really nice job on the headlight detail here. Uh, super clear plastics are used here for the headlight lenses. Uh, and of course, it does have real carbon fiber decal on all the model as well. So all these louvers up through the hood are all carbon fiber with a high gloss finish. I love the winglet style on the front of this model that comes up the side. Uh, and you've got the nice uh, black line which runs through the body which is reminiscent to all the older Ferraris as well like the 288 GTO, the F40, uh, it's harking back to that styling. Now of course you have the scooter rear shields on the side, again these are not just a sticker, these are a 3D uh, bubble emblem on here, really high quality emblems from BBR models. Uh, the mirrors are full gloss carbon fiber decal with the yellow stalk. Uh, great combination there. The plastics that BBR use for the windows are just super clear, no distortion, really clear. I love that about these models. Uh, and this one does have photo etch windscreen wipers as well. So nice and delicate and they look really uh, authentic too. Now it does have carbon fiber on the top of the windscreen also, as well as these little buttresses as well behind the front seats. I love this swooped up design that runs across here, which you now see in the SF90 Stradale as well. Uh, this waistline that runs up and comes across the top of the car. I really love that styling feature on these newer Ferraris. Uh, if we come around to the side of the model, we do have photo etch mesh in these engine intakes here as well. You've got carbon fiber on these lower sills, which is full gloss. Uh, and you've got this great shape of this rear deck lid spoiler as well on this model, which is all in carbon fiber, full gloss. Now they've done an awesome job on the tail lights on this model. Uh, super clear red plastics or resins are used for the tail lights. Uh, you've got some mesh through the center part here. It does look solid, uh, but it is actually perforated, uh, but it just has a blanking panel in behind. More carbon fiber decal on these side trims here, as well as the rear diffuser. You have some little pieces of photo etch mesh around the exhaust outlets, and then we've got the uh, titanium gray exhaust tips poking through. And of course, it's wearing the J50 number plate also. So yeah, really, really impressed with the details on this model. Uh, exactly the same as the red version, just a different color. But I love this color combination. Now, they've done a fantastic job as always on these rims, really crisp castings on these parts. You've got your little separate lug nut bolts on there as well as the Ferrari center caps. Uh, tires are quite good, no tire branding on here, but the tires are uh, accurate and they've done a really good job on the two-piece brake rotors in behind and the brake calipers, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, as I mentioned, the real car in Japan, the yellow car, actually has yellow brake calipers, whereas the model has black brake calipers, uh, but that's something that I may change in the future. But overall, really, really love the exterior of this model. Paint finish is flawless, details are superb, lots of carbon fiber decals, uh, and the wheels, brakes, and the stance are spot on as well. Now, if we have a look into the engine, this is one thing that the all the other 488s and uh, other cars are missing in the Spider is a clear engine window. Now that's something the J50 has and there's great detail inside there as well of that twin turbocharged V8 engine sitting in there. So really nice details inside there for the engine and they've done a really good job on replicating that. Now there's lots of carbon fiber decal in there as well. Uh, and lots of little hoses and Ferrari caps on there also. So fantastic job on the engine department there. 
The rest of the detail in this model is in the interior. Now this, like the real car, has this soft beige color on the interior. All the seats, the A-pillars, windscreen surround, uh, door trims are two-tone with some black. Uh, floor mats are two-tone as well. Really, really good job on all the dashboard and the steering wheel, instrument cluster, center console. Um, just really, really high quality interiors in these models. Uh, they do have the simulated stitching on all the leather seats as well, which is really quite nice. Uh, and it does have cloth seat belts sitting in the model as well. So uh, hopefully you can see that. It's really hard to film these interiors for you guys sometimes, um, but maybe you can see it more that way as well. So yeah, really, really high quality model, interior detail, exterior, uh, and I absolutely love it. And I think it looks fantastic on this black carbon fiber base also. So yeah, even though it's exactly the same as the red J50 that I already reviewed, uh, I think this is just a stunning color combination. And as soon as I saw it, I had to get it. So that is going to wrap up today's review. Now, if I'm gonna give this a Rob score out of 10, I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. Absolutely no faults on this model. And this is one of BBR's really very, very good models with lots of detail. Uh, and I can't really point out any things on it that I am disappointed with, to be honest. So that's why I'm giving it a nine out of 10. So that's gonna wrap up today's review of this BBR Ferrari J50 to commemorate 50 years of Ferrari in Japan. Uh, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Don't forget to smash that like button uh, and feel free to share the video as well. Uh, as I said, I am selling the Red J50 now, so uh, if you're interested in that model, uh, send me a DM or have a look on my Facebook or my eBay store and you will find that model. So that's gonna wrap up today's review of this stunning BBR Ferrari J50 in Giallo Tristrato. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed showing you. But until next time, thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars.